In this one, we're going to take a look at the sapling tree generator add-on. Go to edit, preferences, and add-ons. Search for and enable the sapling tree generator. Then hit shift A, go to curve and sapling tree generator. Now here in the bottom left, you have the options for the tree sapling. There's a bunch of options and settings. You could take a look at a lot of them yourself. However, one of the most important is the preset right here. By changing this, you could change the preset or the kind of tree that you have. Another important option is this drop down right here. Here you could switch between the different settings for different parts of the tree, such as the branch radius, where we could tweak the radius of the branches and a bunch of other settings. The branch splitting, where right here we could change the levels of how many branches are splitting from the other branches. And a bunch of other settings regarding the branch splitting. The branch growth, where you could change the growth of the various branches on your tree. The pruning, where you could go ahead and prune the tree as you want. One of the most important, the leaves. Here you could enable show leaves and change the scale of the leaf as you want. You could change the shape of the leaf and the leaf amount. Then you have armature, where you could enable an armature for the tree. This will allow for you to pose the tree as you want. You can see if I click outside of it, I lose these options. So I need to add it back. And then you have animation. And here you have different settings for the armature, leaf animation, and more. We could also increase the wind strength and other options. So that now if I play it, you can see we get this awesome animation. 